Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr. Telephone and today I'm going to talk about the LJ series of jacks. So that LJ means line jack, so for example a 2 stroke 3A, 3 stroke 3A, 3 stroke 1A. I'm going to go through what each one of them are and then when you come to buy you know what you're after because it can be a bit confusing because there's so many different types but once you get your head around it, it's, uh, it's quite straightforward. So I've got them all laid out here. Over here, this is 1 series, 2 series, 3 series, 4 series and 5 series. So I'm just going to talk about the 3 series to begin with because I've got all the sockets uh, uh, off, off, each, off each type so then I can, once you understand the 3 series you will understand the 1, 2, 4 and 5. So on the 3 series you have a, a 3 stroke 1A, 3 stroke 2A, 3 stroke 3A, 3 stroke 4A, 3 stroke 5A and a 3 stroke 6A. And uh, I'm going to just explain what each one of them are, and the same thing follows on the different ones. So, for example, on the 2 series, it'd be 2 stroke 1, 2 stroke 3, 2 stroke 4, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, let's go through the 3 series first. Now, this first one here, this is a 3 stroke 1A. And this is also known as basically, this, this has got the mastering components in, so a lot of people call this the master socket. It's got the, uh, it's got the ring capacitor here, that's to allow the AC ring in. It's got the... This little black one here is a, a surge protector and that will limit the high voltage spikes on the line. And this is a little resistor here, this blue one here is a resistor. And that's a test resistor, it's also called an out of service resistor. And that's, uh, it allows the service providers to do re remote testing if you haven't got any telephones plugged into the line. So basically the 3 series and this is a 1A, so that's a 3 stroke 1A. Now all of the 3 series are, if you have a look at the size, they are approximately 85 millimeter by 85 millimeter. So they're, they're 85 by 85 and they look like that. These ones don't come with any back boxes because the idea is they're going to be flush mounted. So if you've got an electrical back box already sunk into the wall, so for example, if you've been doing some renovation works or if you're doing if you're doing, uh, you know, on a new build property, then all the back boxes will be sunk into the wall and the wires will be all hidden and you would use a flush socket like this. So the 3 series is, it will fit a standard electrical back box. This is, I'm talking about in the UK now, a standard UK electrical back box. So, the, one, the, the 3 series, 3 stroke 1A, 2A and 3A all have IDC connections. So I'm just going to just going to whiz through them now, just go down and have a look. So this is a 3 stroke 1A, 3 stroke 2A, 3 stroke 3A and 3 stroke 4A, 3 stroke 5A and 3 stroke 6A. And as you can see, the 1, 2 and 3As all have IDC connections and the 4, 5 and 6As all have screw connections. So basically the 3 stroke 1A is the one with all the mastering components and the IDC. The 3 stroke 2A is what's called a PABX socket. So it just has the capacitor in and often it will still have the, the out of service resistor but sometimes it doesn't. So, But it will have the capacitor to allow it to ring because phone systems in offices often just work on, uh, you, you need to fit these ones in because they don't have the ringer wire so you need to have the capacitor to make the phones ring. So this is a 3 stroke 2A. The 3 stroke 3A has no components at all. It's also known as a slave socket, an extension socket. So uh, you would have these in your house, in a normal residential house. After the master socket, you would fit extension sockets. So that's a 3 stroke 1A, 3 stroke 2A, 3 stroke 3A. Now we come on to the screw terminal versions. This is exactly the same as a 3 stroke 1A, which was this one here, except it has screw terminals. And because it's got screw terminals, it's called a 3 stroke 4A. But the same applies, it's got the capacitor, the surge protector and the resistor. Again, this is the PBX version, screw terminal, so this is a 3 stroke 4A, which is just a capacitor. And this one is a 3 stroke I've got that wrong, sorry, this one here is a 3 stroke 5A and this one is a 3 stroke 6A. So this one again is just like the 3 stroke 3A but with screw terminals, so this is a 3 stroke 6A. And the same thing applies to all the others, so if I just quickly do the 2 series, the 2 series are smaller, they are 65mm by 65mm 
and they come with a back box. Now these are for surface mounting, so if you were going to put these just above your skirting board or on your skirting board, this is for surface wiring uh, and where you need to install the back box for surface mounting. Now if you have a look here, this is a two stroke 1A. Same as the three stroke 1A, but the two series, the smaller ones, two stroke 1A, so it's got the capacitor, surge protector, and a resistor. So that's the two stroke 1A. If it didn't have the capacitor and resistor, it would be a two stroke 2A. If it didn't have any of them, it would be a two stroke 3A, the same as the three stroke 3A. And then we move on to the screw terminal version. Again, exactly the same as the three stroke 4A. This is a two stroke 4A. If it didn't have the capacitor and surge protector, it would be a two-stroke 5A. And if it didn't have any of those things, if it was just a screw terminal, it would be a two-stroke 6A. Yeah? So does that make sense? So it's two-stroke 1A, and then equivalent here would be a two-stroke 2A. Equivalent here would be a two-stroke 3A. This is a two-stroke 4A, two-stroke 5A, and with no components, two-stroke 6A. Again, the same applies to the one series. The one series are not really used nowadays. If you can have a look, it ha the back box is kind of incorporated into the socket, so it's a, it's a wider socket, and you just have this little black bank plate that goes on a wall. So on the two series, you have to put the cable through the back box, and then you fit the, the front plate to the cable. But on this one, you screw the back plate to the wall, and then the back box and the, the, the socket is uh, all incorporated in one. Don't really see these nowadays, but these are a smaller type socket. So if you have a look, it's roughly 51, 52 millimeters. Again, same applies. This one here, because it's screw, screw terminals and it's got all the mastering components, this would be a one stroke 4A. And again, you know, if it was an IDC, it would be a one stroke 1A, blah, blah, blah. Same, same uh, principle down. Now, the four series is this series here, and the difference is this is for two lines, so this allows two lines. The one, two, and three series only allow one line, but this, the four series allows two lines, so you've got circuit one and circuit two. So if you had two telephone numbers in your house, then you would terminate one on circuit one and one on circuit two. It's basically like two sockets stuck together on the one, on the one faceplate. But same applies again. Four stroke 1A, because it's got IDC terminals and it's got a capacitor, surge, processor, surge protector and resistor. If it didn't have the surge protector and resistor, it would be a four stroke 2A. This one here is a four stroke 3A, so four meaning four series and 3A because it's got no mastering components, it's just the slave socket. And here you have the four stroke 4A, because we've moved over to screw terminals and you've got all the mastering components take away the surge protector and resistor, and it would become the four stroke 5A, take away the surge all the mastering components, and it just becomes a normal extension, it would be the four stroke 6A. So that's the four series. And lastly, this is the five series. This is where you have two sockets, but only one line. So just one telephone number, and it, it, it it terminates just one telephone number, but it allows two items to be plugged into that one telephone number. It's exactly the same as using a little double adapter. So again, these are not really used because it's just as easy to fit uh, one of the four series ones and just plug in a double adapter. But some people like these because they're a bit neater. Again, same thing applies. This is a five stroke, sorry, this one here is actually a five stroke 4A because it's got the mastering components, but it's got the screw terminals. If it didn't have the mastering components, it would be a, uh, a five stroke 6A. Uh, if it just had the capacitor, it'd be a five stroke 5A. And if it had IDC connections rather than screw terminals here, it would be a five stroke 1A. So you can see the different series, one series, two series, three series, four series, and five series. And then you know the difference of each one. The stroke one is all the mastering components on IDC. Stroke two is the capacitor on IDC, stroke three is no mastering components on IDC, stroke four is all the mastering components on screw terminals, stroke five is just a capacitor on screw terminals, and stroke six is uh, no components with screw terminals. And obviously if it's IDC you will need to use a little, uh, a little punch down tool, like so, and if it's screw terminals you will need to use a little flat headed screwdriver like so. So uh, 
hopefully that has cleared it up a little bit. If you want to, uh, if you want to buy any of my items, I have these all for sale in my eBay shop. You can always send me a message if you can't find it. Uh, this links through to my eBay shop. That's www.mrtelephone.co.uk. Hope you found the video useful. I will be doing a, a lot more videos in the future, and please subscribe to my channel for uh, for the other videos. Thanks a lot for your time. Take care. Bye now.